Radio. I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for May 2015. This month I laid out the Rainbow Tarot spread for you and pulled an additional card from Doreen Virtue's Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards. If you'd like to schedule a private reading with me or to learn more about me, please visit my website theluckymermaid.com. If you already have a private reading scheduled with me, please make sure your phone number is up to date. Also, please take note, I am on the East Coast of the United States in the state of New Jersey. So if you are not in the East Coast time zone, please go to a time zone converter and make sure your time zone is going to match what you scheduled your appointment with because I will be calling you based on East Coast time and again, I don't want you to miss your appointment. Also, please make sure you make your payment for your readings because I still have many people booking them but not making their payment and I have to cancel unpaid appointments and then schedule them from people from the long wait list. So please be sure to do that. I do not want to have to cancel your appointment. Now that that business is out of the way, on to your reading, Leo, for May 2015. And you have a card that showed up here in the Aquarians video as well. You have the Emperor. And the Emperor is a card to me that symbolizes a paternal figure that's on the other side that's guiding you and protecting you putting ideas popping into your head and inspirations, uh, protections and guidance. He would be either a grandfather, a great grandfather, a father or a stepfather or a father figure. He could even be a paternal figure from a previous incarnation that is a guide to you now. So he's showing up here as the first card in your reading today, Leo. I hear now you have to calm down. There's too much jumbled up thinking, too much jumbled up, even emotions too for some of you. I hear that many times Leo is determined to get their way or to have things go their way, but I hear right now in a situation you're in, you have to take a step back or a step down and let somebody else lead the way or take charge or have their way for some reason with what's going on with you right now. I do feel that many of you Leos are going to be making uh, more money in this coming quarter that we're in now. Um, but you have to be prepared to put the time in and work and effort in. Um, but I do see financial increase coming for you. Uh, but you just have to, as I've said, put the time in. I hear there's going to be people around you that are going to be throwing in the towel and, you know, getting out of, you know, getting out of a situation. Could be a job situation you're in. I, I, but yet you don't leave. I get you stick it out. You stay where you are and you uh, keep plugging away and keep working at what you're doing. But I get a lot of people around you <clears throat> or quite a few. I don't know that I want to say a lot, but you've got a few people around you that are going to, you know, they're either not going to like the circumstances that are going down or they're going to be feeling like they're overworked or used or abused in some way or not liking some changes that are going on and they're going to throw in the towel and walk away. This is actually going to be a benefit for you that you stick it out and hang in there. It's going to be a financial benefit to you that you do that. I do feel for most of you it's a work-related situation. Be careful of your spending and hold on tightly to those reins right now. I asked uh, what was the message for non-working Leos, and that was the message for non-working Leos. However, that could also apply to you working Leos as well, but it's coming up to me uh, more for you non-working Leos. Hold the, you know, pull the reins in of spending. Careful of your spending right now in this month of May. 
I hear that there is some Leos out there going around and around in circles with someone that you can't like break free from. For some of you, I get that it's family, a family member. And for some of you Leos, I get it's somebody that you have to work with all the time. So just depends on which Leo you are. And I want to say here, uh, if I'm giving you messages this month that don't make sense to you, Leos, I know back in February, I believe it was February or January, I told you that you should uh, start watching your rising sign videos and even your moon sign videos. So say if you're a Leo with a Gemini rising, well then watch Gemini's video if this month's video is not making sense to you. But you would have to find that out. And I did explain how to do that in the January or February video about how to find out your ascendant or rising sign. It's the same thing if you don't know it already, because this could be giving you additional information and insights, Leo. So I'm just trying to help you out there. I do get that many of you Leos are coming to a conclusion or like some kind of breaking point. And in some instances, I feel that some family ties may be getting ready to be severed here. But diligence is going to pay off and keep your nose to the grindstone and keep working. Don't give up. There's other people around you that are going to give up. There is somebody you're going to be uh, ready, getting ready to help out of a jam. And I feel like you're always there for this person. For some of you, this is your daughter. For some of you, it's a son, but it, it, first and foremost, it comes up as a child, but it could be anybody that, but it's somebody you've helped out a lot before. Could be somebody like a sister or a brother to you. Female comes up first to me. So first I'm going to say it's a, it's a daughter, then a son or a sister and then a brother. Could even be a friend that's like a sister to you, but this is somebody you're going to help out of a jam. I do feel some of you are going to provide either money assistance here or shelter, like temporary living space for them, one or the other. And you've been there for this person before, Leo, so it's coming back again. It's coming up through the emperor. Now, the next card you have in this reading I, I'm not crazy about this card, but we have to hear why that it's here. And remember, anything negative that comes up, it's to give you a warning or to uh, help you sidestep an issue. I don't like to give negative messages, uh, but you do have the Seven of Swords here. Now, the Seven of Swords to me is a card that symbolizes somebody deceiving you. This is like somebody that's either lying to you and deceiving you or they're stealing something from you. So they could be stealing your wallet, your money, your identity, your credit cards. They could be stealing your work and taking credit for it. They could be, you know, your car could get stolen. Your house could get broken into. It could be anything. But it is a card also of deception and lies. So you just, we just have to hear why it's playing out here. I hear you're going through some kind of a rough, rough patch with some sort of communication breakdown happening. I feel for many of you it has to do with a work-related situation where there's a lot of people under the gun around you and many people are getting let go or getting fired or they're freaking out and they're getting ready to and they're leaving jumping ship on their own like I said with the other card but I feel that the company or job or whatever place of employment you are you're it's going through some kind of overhaul where they're either downsizing and letting people go or they're restructuring and reorganizing the business company job whatever it is and so people are afraid they're going to get let go and things are getting reorganized in the company. That's the case for you working Leos. So just know, uh, and they're saying communication breakdown. So I feel that that's not just in regard to you. I feel like in the workplace uh, for you, there's communication breakdown going on all the way around in there, not just in regard to you, Leo. And I feel that you non-working Leos are going to find that a family matter, family member and matter has been of huge disappointment to you. And someone that you trusted has either betrayed that trust 
or has just made a muck of things in your family and it's created a an extremely disruption disruptive situation and there's the communication breakdown in that situation as well so this is not just a work related card it is also applying to those of you non-working lives a family matter and I get they're saying to me you're ready to get out the dustpan and brush and sweep up this matter and throw it out like you're ready to be done with it I feel like you're at your wits end with this situation I do feel that many of you Leo's are going to be in the especially in the months moving forward May June July even maybe into August uh, strategizing about what your next step is and what your next move is going to be even though I feel that sticking it out is in your benefit in a work related sense I do feel that you are still going to be getting your resumes out dusting them off any re referrals or recommendations you can get getting those numbers on a list and in line just in case this could be just like the parachute on your back as you jump out of the plane or a just in case emergency situation um, I hear you don't like what's being told to you and I get that many of you don't trust the work environment that you're in and if you're a non-working Leo I don't feel that you trust someone some family situation you're in comes up here as well so that is why the seven of swords is showing up for you now crowning your reading you have a very nice card a good card here Leo you have the three of cups and the three of cups to me is a party a gathering or a celebration this could be you know a, attending a party or a gathering graduation birthday anniversary just a fun gathering of any sort this can also indicate a celebratory conclusion to something that's been going on in your life that now it's going to finally be over and you're going to be you know happily celebrating its end I hear many of you Leo's are going to be stylizing your home in a different way I also feel you're going to be restructuring your home and sending some people packing so even though earlier I picked up you helping somebody that you helped before I'm not saying this is the same person I get that there's somebody in your family situation that you're going to send them packing or tell them it's time to be on their way or time to move out or time to move on or time to stop dealing with you or you know it's something about family and sending someone packing is coming up here and if those of you Leo's that are married and in an unhappy marriage or if you're in a partner you know romantic partnership with someone that's living together like a marriage you may be sending them packing that could be the person you're sending packing that comes up here though uh, it just depends on which Leo you are as to who this is you're sending packing I do feel that you are going to be experiencing a change in your home life for the better I do see your home life improving you may be taking photographs out of family pictures and making a compilation of some kind of journal and putting it together and selling it or packaging it on the internet uh, or some book publication because what I'm seeing is those of you that are good at interior decorating and or landscaping I'm getting you taking pictures from your own history even back to when you were a kid and maybe from your ancestors your parents your mother your father your aunt your grandmother whoever and if they were really good at design and decorating or gardening and landscaping uh, you're going to take their work their pictures pictures you have and your own and put them together and it's almost got like this scrapbook kind of feel and you're either going to make it some kind of publication or it's going to be featured in a magazine like a better homes and gardens magazine or a home design magazine of some sort or is going to be on television or on the internet and it's going to be packaged in some way I know that sounds really specific and 
Uh, I, I, it's all I can tell you. They keep showing me photo albums, taking pictures out of family photo albums and your own photo out photos from your own photo albums and putting them together in some way. And I do feel it is connected to what I've said, home design, home decor or uh, landscaping and gardening. So hopefully that's going to make sense to some Leos out there. I know that's pretty specific, but have to tell you what I get, even if it sounds crazy. <laughs> I do feel for some of you, there's an opportunity that's going to come your way to buy into a business, to become partnerships with someone or to buy into an existing business already. And, you know, maybe it's not just one partner. Maybe it's a bunch of people in there. I don't know. But I get some of you, Leos, are going to have an opportunity to buy into an existing business or company. Some of you are going to be registering a trademark or trademarking a brand, a particular brand, and you're going to start your own like brand of some sort. So, uh, wow, that could be so many different things. I hope that makes sense to you guys out there. I also pick up here that for many of you, Leos, there's going to be a stabilizing of your family and family matters. And anybody that was like bad business, bad news that or that created trouble or what is, is going to be out of the picture now. I, I, I don't know for how long, whether it's forever, whether it's short term, but I don't see you being upset by it. I actually feel like you this gives you a sigh of relief you're breathing a sigh of relief and now things level off in your family and your family life improves and becomes more stable and that's not just for you that's also for your family around you as well so that's what's coming up those are the messages coming up for you off of the three of cups the next card you have in the layout today leo you have a great card you have the world and the world is a card to me that symbolizes having control. It's the planets in the heavens and the spirit guides around you conspiring to help give you that control. I get all systems go now. Everything around you is going to start working out in your favor and all systems are go. Your spirituality is getting heightened and is developing more. And I do feel that you're creating a lot of income or wealth for your family. Those of you that are working, this is going to make sense to. Those of you that are not working, I'm not sure how that plays in for you. But I do hear you are going to be generating a lot of uh, wealth for your family and your spirituality is increased and heightened right now. Many of you are going to become leaders in a particular endeavor. For some of you, this is a business endeavor and that you are going to be leading the charge or getting some kind of promotion or heading up some kind of campaign, some business campaign or, you know, taking charge of in management in some way of a new branch that's opening up or a new division that's starting or a new sales, uh, you know, account that's coming your way. It just depends on what line of work you're in, but I do see you Leos uh, getting put in a leadership role for many of you. I feel many of you Leos are going to be uh, getting together some travel plans and some travel arrangements for you working Leos. This has to do with work and business. You might be able to combine uh, business with pleasure is going to be possible for some of you uh, and you non-working Leos. I do get you are you're doing this as well in a fun scenario some of you i feel are going to be good, traveling to las vegas uh or going to visit you know um arizona like sedona arizona i get i i'm seeing las vegas i'm seeing like or even new mexico parts of california these are the states that are coming up to my mind if you live outside the united states i feel they would be areas like that kind of deserty um that, that kind of landscape is what I'm seeing in my mind. There's a real sense of pride and accomplishment here because I do feel that you've achieved some really big goals and some milestones, Leo. This is happening right now. You've turned the ordinary into extraordinary. For some of you, Leos, I feel that you're going to be talking to a government agency of some sort about some 
project or plan you're working on uh, to, and trying to get it pushed forward or approved or licensed or that comes up here around this uh, or some kind of approval that that comes up so hopefully that made sense now on to your last card in the tarot portion of your reading today leo you have this isn't a great card but again we have to hear what the reason is why it shows up here you have eight of swords and eight of swords to me is a card that symbolizes being trapped in some kind of prison this could be trapped in an emotional prison this could be trapped in a situation or circumstance that you, there's a lot of unknown things here. You don't know what's going on. You don't have all the insights and information here. Um, so it's either being trapped in an emotional prison or trapped in a circumstance or situation. I feel in some cases too many people have put too many demands on you. What I'm feeling and sensing out there for some of you is you may be having to deal with an elderly relative that's not well uh, or a family member that's not well or having some issues that you're having to deal with because they're kind of imposing it on you. So I feel some of you Leos feel trapped and bound to do with a situation of an elderly, someone older than you, family member, for some of you. I feel some of you Leos want to be pro, more proactive in your choices and you may be feeling a little cut off, isolated, or alone. Maybe not all the way around. It might just be in a particular situation going on in your life. But I do pick up that sense for some of you. And I do feel that there's going to be a, um, any misunderstandings between you and a family member. Some insight or information is going to be brought to light. And for some of you, old news gets brought up to be reviewed again. So um, that, could be, they, that could be all interrelated right there, Leo. They could be separate messages for separate Leos, or they can be intertwined. I feel some of you Leos have had some real sleepless nights tossing and turning and, and running situations through in your mind and feeling like this isn't right or that's not right. Like feeling, uh, again, I go back to the feeling trapped or put upon or bound into a situation by other people that you don't feel it's right, that you're kind of trapped or stuck right now. But just remember, this is a temporary condition. Whatever it is, is not eternal. So this is just part of a karmic situation that you have to go through, unfortunately. We all have them. And um, once you see yourself clear of them, there'll be a lot of expansion. You do have a lot of good things here. You have a real mixed, uh, mixed back and forth uh, reading here. You've got like a seesaw, some really good, bad, good, bad, not really bad, but you've got some, uh, some tricky situations here that came up in this reading today. Now, for your outcome card in the Doreen Virtues Healing with the Angels Oracle cards, Leo, you have the card of self-acceptance. That's the angel card that you got today for this May 2015 reading. Like they're saying a phrase to me, something like you got to have the guts to get the glory. And I get that you are coming into a real phase of, for lack of a better word, ta-da, I do get that for you, Leo. So I feel like you're going to be having some big achievements and big accomplishments here all the way around within your family and within your work and business structures that go on around you. I do feel it. Be prepared to take a step up and uh, to go to bat for your place of work or for someone else that you care about. So it just depends on which Leo you are. You're going to be put in the position of being the forefront or forerunner spokesperson on behalf of someone else. You may be having to step up and give testimony for somebody else, whether it's a business recommendation, whether it's in court, you have to stand up and testify for somebody else or um, just uh, 
you know, at work, if somebody got accused of something or somebody needs a recommendation in the place where you already work, I do feel that you are going to be stepping up to the plate, stepping up to bat as a spokesperson for something or someone else. Your ideas are like golden right now, Leo. So make sure you keep a journal of what you're thinking about, what your ideas are, what you want to work on or create, because the inspiration you're going to be getting this month of May and going into June are going to be rock solid, golden uh, and diamond gems for you in your future. So make sure you carry a little journal or tablet around with you. And when you have any ideas, jot them down. Or if you have a digital voice recorder uh, or your cell phone, if you can record on your cell phone, start keeping a journal or log of your ideas that will be useful to you in whatever you're doing. It doesn't matter what it is, even if it's like ideas of how to help somebody in your family or, you know, something that you can help one of your kids with or uh, your a niece or a nephew or a sibling with or create for work or a new business idea you want to run. Whatever it is, your ideas are golden right now and you are being inspired by the divine source very strongly right now. So if you feel like you're going through some situations that you don't feel are good, just know this is a karmic situation and you've got a lot of spiritual presence around you right now as you're going through. Any times that you feel are difficult, it's you're going to come through them and cross through them at the other side. You are going to be triumphant, Leo. You truly are. So I hope this reading was of some help to you. I hope it made sense. I want to say thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my videos. Thank you for Google Plusing. I do appreciate that. If you'd like to learn more about me or schedule a private reading with me, please go to my website, theluckymermaid.com. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, The Lucky Mermaid LLC, and on Twitter, at The Lucky Mermaid. If you've scheduled a private reading with me, please update your phone number if, it, if it's changed. Make sure we're on the same page of the time zone. I am on the East Coast. That's the time you booked for. I want to wish you a beautiful month of May, Leo, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.